London Welsh, I mean, they will probably sense this is one of their best ever chances to, to spring a surprise on Saturday. How wary are you of the threat they pose? Um, we're very wary and uh, I think you know we always are and we respect the opposition whoever they may be whether the top of the league whether the bottom or whether the London Welsh who are basically as we all know a new side into the Premiership playing really really well surprising a lot of people and uh, they play for each other they don't play an over complicated game but they get into you they get they, um, they get stuck into the forwards they have some good line speeds some very big strong centres who like to carry the ball and uh, we need to be on our very best to get the win is it different, Jim, when you're playing against a side which many expect you to beat? And do you think that rubs off on the players in any way? Uh, no, I don't think it does. I, I don't think it does. I think um, you know the way we treat games is, is very much the same. And uh, as I say, respect is, is what we give the opposition. But we can't worry too much about that. We've got to work on our game, on how we play, and that's what we've been doing over the last few weeks. Um, we, we named a strong team last week on purpose, really looking forward to today's game. So I was really pleased how, how a lot of those combinations went. And uh, again, we've just been adding to, to, to that performance from last week. And you'll have your England boys back, I imagine, in, in, in or to start for, for Saturday. Um, again, again, it's uh, we know who, who's returned, um, so, so that's really positive. Uh, you know, it's, uh, a couple of England lads still injured with Dylan Hartley, who, who's another week or so away, um, but the others are back and available. I imagine getting that win in Wales must have done wonders for morale in a sense. Otherwise, you just have that. Uh, beaten tag around the neck but now that's probably given you a, a, a good lease of confidence yeah it has and um, you know some really good aspects of our play last week but we take as you always got to do the positives from the week before and the other few weeks and uh, you know the Harlequins game some fantastic rugby in the second half and uh, but then disappointing to lose so we've taken the positive bits the bits that we haven't played well and, and we're honest and open and, and uh, you know we've worked on on those sides of the game and uh, yeah we're looking forward to Saturday Ken obviously last week it was great to get back to winning ways how keen are the squad to uh, really make that momentum count going into this weekend with London Welsh. Yeah, um, they're looking forward to this week's game and uh, just got to get back onto our winning ways. But we've been playing well. Um, it's just little mistakes that cost us the game. Uh, yeah, we're just looking forward to this week. Obviously, a lot of people were writing London Welsh off coming into this Premiership season, but I guess the Saints squad weren't one of those, were they? Nah, we we got a lot of respect for the London Welsh boys and. Uh, you know they're a good team, they, and you know they got some good players there with Gavin Henson and uh, Sonny Parker, strong in that backline. Mm. When you look at those kind of players, do you relish coming up against those kind of guys? I mean, Gavin Henson's got a massive reputation, hasn't he? Yeah, um, you know I've, I've sat at home watching him on TV, and uh, getting the chance to play against him will be awesome. Mm. You had a week off, and then you returned to the LV Cup last week. Uh, did you feel better for that rest? Yeah, I did, but I wasn't too happy with my 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 game, and um, you know, I got this week to prove myself and hopefully get to um, back to how I was performing before. How important is this two weeks by the Premiership games before you head back into the Heineken Cup? Obviously, it's incredibly tight in the Premiership. Yeah, it is. Um, it's given us a, a bit more confidence, especially with um, uh, a, a win under our belt. Um, but yeah, the boys are excited and ready to uh, kick off uh, Aviva again.